Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm working on an air conditioner, and this is a common thing that I come across. So this is something to check. If your air conditioner is not working, here's something to check. So what we've already confirmed is that the thermostat is turned on in cooling mode, and that the cool on uh, indicator is not blinking, which means it should be on. Uh, pull the cover off of the air conditioner outside, like I've done here, and the first thing you're going to want to hear or, or check is see if the contactor is pulled in or not. Now on this one, the contactor is pulled in, as you can see. It's kind of hard to see, but basically right here, um, right here where I'm pointing with my needle nose is uh, where the contactor pulls in. And if it was not, if the thermostat wasn't working or something else, this would not be pulled in. And I can kind of hear a light humming sound as well. Uh, so, what, what can happen, and I've confirmed with an electrical tester that I have uh, full power here, uh, 240 volts coming into the unit, um, but you can see if you look really closely, I'll just do my best to get it on the camera, that a Japanese beetle, right there, underneath that contactor, there's a little bug that has died, sacrificed himself to be able to prevent climate change by reducing carbon emissions from electrical plants um, by preventing this air conditioning from turning on. Anyway, so that, that bug is just stuck there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and grab it right here. Now i got to be ultra careful here because it's 240 volts right there. I'm going to grab this and pull it out. Because the electromagnet wants to uh, close it at the moment. When I let go, it should uh, snap closed, but it didn't. It's not connecting. Now, if I push it, well, it still isn't working yet. This contactor may need to be replaced. So I think we'll go ahead and replace this contactor, and then I'll show you. Um, I'll show you the process for how to do that. Sometimes it's as simple as getting the bug out of that spot right there. In this case the contactor is actually bad but sometimes you can just pull that and snap it free and uh, you'll be good to go. So that's something to check. I'm going to make a separate video on how to replace the contactor but if that's all it was I hope it helped you and we'll talk to you in the next video. Uh, click somewhere on the screen here to, to see the video of how to replace the contactor. Talk to you later.